Well, they should have done it ages ago. Why all of a sudden now? If they're going to do updation. That's the trouble with well, Auckland. They wait till all the construction years and then they want to alter this, alter that. And then, you know, everyone's got to be up there. They should have planned out Auckland years ago when it was getting all these buildings and what they were going to do. The trouble is no one had the brains for it then. There. Um, the construction going on around Bridomart really doesn't bother me because <laughs> uh, it's very convenient to cross the roads now. <laughs> I can really go to downtown without any like traffic and waiting for the lights. Yeah, but it can be um, like inconvenient for those who drive cars or for the buses or the bus stops who use the people who take buses. Yeah, it's fine with me. Yeah. My bus stop changed to be further down, which makes my walk up a little bit longer, which is probably a, a good thing since I need more exercise anyway. But um, I don't know. I guess it's a good thing in the long run, but right now it's a little bit um, inconvenient for people, I guess. But overall, I think people are going to be happy, hopefully, and they won't just think it's like a winter money and everything. So It's made it more claustrophobic because I actually stay out of Waiheke Island. So I try and spend as little time here in the city. So I always give it a good wave when I leave here. Um, and as far as construction goes, yeah, I, I'm sort of trying to negotiate whether it's actually complementing the environment here or the city. So it really dictates the energy here. Yeah, yeah. that's how I see it. Just progress, but at the same time, yeah, I'd like to see a bit more relationship with the public. This, all this construction that's going on.